Are you a little worried that the weather delay would affect you one way or the other? Uh, weather delay is always difficult because it's a little bit of adversity, you know, but um, being at home is always nice. We've got all the things that we need in there to take care of business. And, you know, for us, we were really chomping at the bit to get out there. You know, after half time, we felt that the girls were had full of energy, but this is an experienced group, great leadership. So there was no doubt that they were going to come out from the weather delay and, and deal with that adversity in the way that they did. The offense we've seen uh, has just been a lot better throughout these first five matches. What do you, what did you see, especially on that that play where you guys did capitalize? It was a really nice team goal with the, with the passing of footwork. The crazy part today is that I thought we played really, really well, um, particularly in possession. I thought, I mean, we created so many chances. Um, you know, credit to Tennessee Tech. They defended really, really well, particularly in the box. Um, you know, we've hit the crossbar twice. We've hit the post. We've had the keepers made two great saves. So you're only worried as a coach when um, you're not creating chances. But we do have to start putting the ball in the back of the net a little bit more often. and. A, capitalizing on chances that we're creating but it's going to come um, it's just a matter of when but listen you know at this level there's so much parity um, to get a to get the goal was really really important we knew it was coming it was just a matter of when but it was nice to see the ball hit the back of the net when Aitana finally put it in it was a nice team goal for sure and speaking of that goal obviously she comes through clutch on senior night what have you kind of seen from her not only on the pitch but off the pitch as well as a leader in the locker room Aitana's only been here what uh, just over a year, but she's made a huge mark on this program. Both, you know, like you said, in the locker room, just through her personality, she's a person that everybody can talk to. Um, she's bubbly, she's energetic, she's got a great sense of humour. Um, usually against me most of the time, um, but obviously she scored some huge goals for us. You know, both last year and this year, and she's somebody that's always alert in the box. She can finish all different types of goals, and so. Um, today's was a, was another example of her being in the right place at the right time. And obviously, it was very emotional for all the seniors. You know, everybody's just full of emotions and obviously celebrating their time here at Mississippi State. Just how was that celebrating those seniors that have meant so much to this program and done so much to that to this program for you? Very emotional day. Um, you know, we came here, you know, five years ago, and you know, these a lot of these girls have been with us for a long, long time. But even those that haven't been with us, you know, some of the transfers, um, they've made such a massive impact on this program, and you know, changed the perception on a national scale and broken so many records. You know, both um, in terms of NCAA tournaments, SEC play, you name it. They, they've been great, and they've been great. You know, not just on the field, but in the classroom and you know in the locker room etc so that we challenged them to leave the jersey in a better place and each and every single one of them has done that tenfold and we can't thank them in it there's no there's no amount of words that we can say that can thank them for what they've done for this program a lot of the quality talent that we got in there that's young they're here because of the you know the culture that these guys have said and, and the success they've had so emotional day Glad it's over a little bit right now. You know, we can celebrate and uh, we'll have a banquet tomorrow night. So we'll get to really celebrate then and obviously get ready for Sunday's game. We can segue ahead, Maddie, I guess. Just what, what's it been like, you and uh, the 10 other seniors that y'all recognize today? What, what's that bond been like? I mean, some of us have been here all five years since the coaches got here. And so, especially with me, Macy, and Elle, we were the original three that were here. And so, um, just being able to grow with them and then add more people to that group, it's just been phenomenal. I mean, we just have so many memories together, and I'm very thankful for all those group of girls. When the ball is uh, in the other end uh, so, so much of the game, obviously I'm sure you're grateful for that, but you know, uh, what's it like just to, to sort, of, sort of command the defense and make sure everyone's in the right place and where they need to be? And you know, I, I, You're always sort of barking out instructions, I hear that. Yeah, it can get kind of boring sometimes because the ball is in the end, but um, I don't find myself as bored as much because of how much we need to organize on to kind of be preventative. Drago always tells us like, what's next, what's next? And so that's what I'm thinking. Like, if the ball goes out this way, like how can we shift? So I'm always just kind of, during these games, trying to keep my brain engaged to be like, what's next, what's next, to help me like not get lazy and stuff. Obviously, don't want to make you emotional, but just yeah. obviously on senior night, 
What has it meant for you to be here at Mississippi State and to be a Bulldog? I mean, it's meant the world to me. It's been the best five years that I've ever had, and I'm so thankful that um, I decided to come here all those many years ago. Um, but I'm very thankful for all the memories, all the people, and just I don't feel like at any other school I'd have such a big family aspect of, like, just being loved on so much by my teammates, my coaches, like, the fans, everyone in the community. I just go places, and people are so nice, and they're like, hey, like, how's your day? And I'm just so thankful to be here. I mean, it's been such a special five years. I I wouldn't trade it for anything. A score a goal on scene tonight. How'd that feel? <laughs> well, it was very, very special to me. I think as long as I help the team, doesn't matter if it's an assist, it's a goal. Um, but very, very special. Um, I did it for, for my class. Uh, my mom came all the way here from Spain, so that meant a lot to me. Take me through the, the play a little bit. It seemed like the, the goalkeeper was not expecting you to uh, first time it there. Um, <laughs> yeah. you, you were really in sync there with your teammates. Um, you know, just take well, me through what you saw in that play. Um, Hannah got, the, and got that ball. She just said it to me. I saw the goalkeeper was a little bit shifted to her left. And I was just like, okay, first time if I take a touch, she's going to have enough time to make a save. So I just went for it <laughs> and it worked really well. Obviously a very emotional night, senior night. Just talk about what it's meant for you to compete here at Mississippi State and be a Bulldog. Well, I'm a transfer student. I've been here for, for a year and a half, but uh, being this far away from home, this feels like a family. Um, no matter what, like I, I'm going to have my sisters here. Um, something happens to me. They're always, always here for me. Um, and I'm just really, really grateful for them. And I can wait to, to see what the future holds them. And obviously, Coach Armstrong mentioned uh, some of the banner that's happened between you two. What's your relationship like with Coach Armstrong, and how has it been learning on the ground? <laughs> well, we love each other, but we have a very, very similar sense of humor. So um, whenever he's like teasing me and like trying to be <laughs> trying to be mean, I just, I'm, I'm mean back. So <laughs> he doesn't take that really well, but <laughs> but I'm really, really grateful for him, and I, I love him. He dishes it out. He can't take it. <laughs> so, sometimes he cannot take it. Sometimes I, I, I leave him speechless. <laughs> what differences have you noticed between last year and this year offensively? It just seems like you guys are able to, at least in non-conference play, you're able to generate a lot more chances, and you know, it's, it's translated into the, into the scoring as well. Well, I feel like having one more player on the midfield uh, helps a lot because um, we just have a three-bag. We're playing with a three-bag, so having more players attacking-wise, and I think the most important thing is the depth that we have. We have different players that can play different positions, that can score a lot of goals. We have different sco uh, goal-scoring people, so I think I think that's the very, very difference between, between last year's and this year.